Hi, in this video you'll learn how to create a semantic model using SPACE and EPM data sources with Oracle Analytics Semantic Modeler. To model any data using the semantic modeler, you first need to create a system connection to the corresponding data source. Here I'm creating a new connection to SBase. As you can see, the SBase connection has a new property system connection to make it a system connection available for semantic models. Similarly, the EPM cloud connection also has the system connection property. I have already created two connections here, EPM demo and SBase demo. As you can see, EPM demo has the system connection property enabled and also SBase demo has the system connection property enabled. I'm going to create a new semantic model. Click create semantic model. I'm going to name the model SBase EPM model. I'm going to choose the option to start with an empty model and the my database physical database that's created I'm going to rename it to SBase and change the database type in the physical layer to Oracle SBase. Now to import the model expand on the SBase demo connection that you see in the connections tab and then drag and drop sample basic cube to the physical database. The cube table options that you see to create columns you know, for UDAs and the other options is the same as the ones you see in model administration tool. And now you see a cube table that's been imported into the semantic model. The table, the cube table is basic and caffeinated intro date and market or the dimensions here with hierarchies and the le corresponding levels. I just open the basic table and you can open it in SMML editor to see the JSON definition for that cube table. I'm going to create another database in the physical layer. Click on create database and name it EPM and select the type, database type to be EPM Cloud. Now again, go back to the connections, open the EPM demo connection and we are going to drag and drop the vision plan one EPM cube to the physical layer. So you see that the plan one is created as a cube table, similarly like SBase, and you have the account um, dimension here with the account hierarchy. And if you have, you know, if you'd like to see the definition for plan one, you can open an SMML editor that in turn gives you the SMML definition for that. Uh, semantic model object. Next, we are going to go to logical layer, create a business model for SBase. I'm going to call it SBase business model. And it's a simple drag and drop from the physical layer to the logical layer. I'm just going to drag and drop the basic model. As you can see, the system automatically determined, you know, what are the facts and dimensions in the logical layer. And next, I'm going to create another business model for EPM business model. Click OK. And let's repeat the same thing what we did for SBase from EPM physical cube table. I'm going to drag and drop. And the system automatically determines the facts and dimensions for the EPM cube table. Next, in the presentation layer, we are going to create a subject area. SBase subject area based on SBase business model and creating the presentations table is as simple as dragging and dropping the SBase business model and that in turn creates all the dimensions and facts. Next, we are going to create an EPM subject area and repeat the process to drag and drop the EPM business model to the presentation layer to create the dimension tables and the fact tables. Next, do the consistency check to check if the model is consistent or if there are any errors and warnings. In this case, there are no errors and warnings. You can go ahead and deploy the model. Click deploy. As you can see in the status bar, the semantic model is being deployed. Once the deployment is complete, log out and log back in. 
Next, I'm creating a workbook to demonstrate how the space cube appears as a subject area in the workbook. I'm selecting a space subject area and adding it to the workbook. From here, you can create visualizations as needed to analyze data from this base cube. The same process can be applied to data from EPM Cloud as well. I hope this video provided a clear understanding of how to create a semantic model using a space and EPM data sources. Thank you for watching.